I thought it would be a really good idea for, for the Army Flying Museum to actually look at the preparations for D-Day, not the, the exercise, the, the operation, the whole of the, uh, the sort of liberation of Europe, but actually look at preparations, and particularly because here in the Salisbury Plain area, of course, we've got all of the uh, areas that you'd want to go and see yourself. You can go and see where the glider pilots trained. You can go down to the New Forest to see where they tried out new weapon systems. You can go and see old airfields. Um, it's a wonderful opportunity to get a bit of the background to D-Day. Well, I think people should come and, and learn about D-Day because it was and still is a significant event. Um, bringing together um, a huge British Army, um, American Marines and soldiers, Canadians, Poles, eventually the Dutch, the Free French, um, seven armies eventually were, were involved. And it's a significant event because it opens up the liberation of Europe. A lot of people lost their lives, but also we achieved a huge success. And what I love about it is all the technology that was created. A complete Mulberry Harbour uh, at Aramage, which you can still see pieces of. The Germans thought we couldn't land at Normandy because there was no port. We must go to Calais and Boulogne. Well, they were wrong. It delayed them getting involved for many days, and that was significant as well. Oh, I think there's no doubt that at the moment we are, we are very, very interested in our armed forces. We have Armed Forces Day here in Salisbury coming up in, uh, in June. We've got the Chalk Valley History Festival, which is, f uh, which is absolutely focused on D-Day. Um, people are flocking to come to the Great Escape 75th anniversary uh, at the uh, Hammersmith Apollo. We've got talks at the uh, Army Flying Museum. There are so many events. We're interested in the heritage and the history of our armed forces as well as its future.